あれ阿部野さんは来ないんですか面を取りに行くだけだ5歳児でも一人でお使いくらいできんだろ俺のお使いデビューは4歳ですそれは知らねえよ15歳のお使い力侮らないでくださいよ行ってきます Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson of learning Japanese. Today we're gonna learn some Japanese with some anime once again. We're gonna take a line from the show Fukigen no Mononokian, or the Morose Mononokian, I think is what it's called in English.、Uh, and with today's line, we're basically gonna learn how to say, Don't underestimate the errand running ability of a 15 year old. So, this is a very simple line.、Um, just for the sake of making this lesson more impactful with what we're learning, we're gonna kind of cover the lines before it too because there is a decent amount of context that's needed. So, as you heard in the clip that we played, which we'll just play again right now just to get you refreshed. So, in this clip, we have dialogue that is based on the context where the character here is about to go on an errand and pick up something. So, he's about to leave and he looks back and he noticed no one else is getting up to, so he's saying, Oh, he isn't coming as well.、Uh, then the other character says, You're just going to pick up a mask、uh, or run an errand. Even a five year old could do that much. So, that's a pretty good line in and of itself, to be honest. So, why don't we actually break that down first? Some vocabulary words that we're going to need, let's just brush through them real quick. We have the word men, which just means mask. We have toru, which is the verb that means to take. We have iku, which means to go. We have go saiji. Go, of course, is five. Sai is age, so five years old. Other than the G is a、uh, child, so go saiji is just gonna be a five year old child. We have the word otsukai, which is just gonna translate to basically an errand. And then、uh, that's pretty much it, other than dekiru, which means to be able to do. So this line right here is actually two sentences. The first one, Men o tori ni iku dake da. So, of course, we have men, which is mask. We're gonna mark it as a direct object. We're using it with the verb tori, which means to take.、Um, in this context, it's more like to go get, to pick up. We're gonna use this in the grammar pattern that is the basically stem form of a verb plus a going verb to say to go somewhere to do that verb. So, tori turns into tori, that's the stem form of it. We plug in the particle ni, and then we use a going verb, which in this case, we're gonna use the verb iku, which means to go. So, tori ni iku is gonna be to go. To get. Of course, we mark the man as the direct object, so this will be to go to get the mask. And then we're gonna end the sentence just by saying dake da. Dake is the particle that means only or just, so just going to go get a mask. And then the da is the copula that ends the sentence. So that first sentence, you're just gonna go pick up a mask or run an errand if you wanna be more vague about it. Men wo tori ni iku dake da. Moving into the second sentence, we start with、uh, go saiji, which is going to translate to five year old kid, basically. We have the demo, which is going to translate to basically even、um, this, even a five year old. Right after that, we have the phrasing hitori de. Hitori means alone or one person. We have the de as the particle that is the instrument marker, so like by yourself. Then we have our vocabulary word otsukai, which is going to translate to eren. We have the kurai particle. This particle pretty much translates to like approximately about. In this case, I think a better translation would be like to the extent or to the degree of. So it would be something like this is something that is to the degree of an errand that even a five year old could do by themselves. And so we end that sentence with the verb dekiru, which is to be able to do. It's kind of shortened here to dekin. And then we have that n there after to add the explanatory nuance. And then the daro there is. Uh, basically, this kind of nuance of confidence in your statement. So, altogether, that line is going to be men o tori ni iku dake da, go saiji de mo hitori de o tsukai kurai de gin da ro. And this is going to translate to you're just going to go pick up a mask. It's like an errand that even a five year old could do by themselves. Men o tori ni iku dake da. Alright, so continuing on with the conversation now,、um, the character replies to that line with Ore no otsukai debut wa yon sai desu. Ore no otsukai debut wa yon sai desu! And this is basically saying, I ran my first errand when I was four. So he's kind of trying to like、uh, refute the five year old thing by saying, Well, I was able to do it when I was four years old. We don't really need to analyze that line too much because it's pretty simple. 
Um, the debut is a word that is used in Japanese um, a decent amount just to mean like your first time doing something. Um, yeah, the Japanese language uses that word pretty often. In our naturalization, we don't really include the word debut. We just say I ran my first errand when I was four. But if you wanted to kind of convey the comedic tone to it, you could say debut, my debut was when I was four. That'd be fine too. Right after that line, the other character responds by saying, Sore wa yo. And this just means basically, who cares, or I don't care to be literal. And finally, we reach the line that this lesson is revolving around. To be honest, this is actually probably simpler than the other line that we broke down. So both of them working together um, can teach us a decent amount. Let's break down this one real quick. Uh, I don't think we need to learn any new vocabulary words other than the verb anadoru, which means basically to make light of, to underestimate, basically. Um, so let's jump into the line. We have another age thingy here with goju side. This is going to translate to 15 year old. We have a noun of a noun modification going on here with our prior vocabulary word otsukai, which of course again means errand. It's going to be used with the word ryoku, which means power or ability. It's commonly used as like a suffix to words to make a kind of new compound word to mean ability of that thing. So if otsukai means errand, then otsukai ryoku is going to mean errand running ability basically. And that's going to be the thing that's the second noun in our noun of a noun modification with the goju sai. So goju sai no otsukai ryoku is going to be a 15 year old's errand running ability. We are, usually we would have like a direct object marker here, but we don't just because this is um, casual speech in anime and whatnot. So we're going to forego that. And then we have our verb, which is going to be in the nai form. So anadoru means to make light of. It's going to be negative. So anadora nai is going to be to not make light of. It's going to be in the nai form that we have here is going to in turn um, be plugged in with the de particle and used with the kudasai grammar pattern, which basically means please do this. Um, so, anadoranai de kudasai is going to be please don't underestimate or please don't make light of. Um, even though we're using kudasai here, um, just the tone of the character, you can kind of feel it from the way that he's talking. He's not really saying please as like a genuine way to make a request of somebody, but he's just maintaining his polite speech. And we can get a feel of that even more with the yo ending particle right there, which adds uh, emphasis. So while he is still maintaining polite speech, he's not really legitimately asking him to please do something. He's like, don't do it. And so yeah, don't underestimate the Aaron running ability of a 15-year-old. Goju-sai no otsukai ryoku, anadoranai de kudasai yo. And so yeah, we covered the whole conversation right there. We broke down two of the lines to the kind of more advanced lines. And so now, having done that, let's replay the entire clip and follow along. Alrighty, so that's the line right there. Uh, let's just review the grammar patterns that we came across. We had the stem form of verb plus a going verb to mean to go somewhere, or a motion verb to go somewhere or come somewhere to do that verb. We had the demo, which is kind of a grammar pattern. It means like even this, so if it's used with the noun, even if it's this noun, then something. Um, if it's used with the verb, even if this verb, then something. We had the kurai particle, which means basically about, approximately. We had the dekiru, which is the potential form of the verb suru, so potential form right there. Uh, we had some noun of a noun modifications going on. We had the negative nai form of a verb with anadora nai, and then we use that in turn with the kudasai grammar pattern to mean please do a verb. Um, and that is going to wrap it up. A decent amount of grammar patterns right there. And one more time, let's play the clip. Can you follow along? Yes, you can. You can do it. <laughs>
All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Anime Line of the Day. Remember, if there were grammar patterns mentioned for this line, they'll be mentioned in the description or the pinned comment below with links to the individual lessons on them. You can also probably find them in the playlist of our complete grammar video series shown on the screen right here alongside our anime playlist. And last but not least, don't forget to try to translate the bonus line we've provided. Leave your translation in a comment below. Check out our Patreon, like the video, and subscribe. With all that said and done, see you next time.